With the 2024 U.S. elections approaching and Kamala Harris now at the top of the Democratic ticket, questions about her role in President Biden's decision to step aside arise. But what's even more compelling is her history of outpacing her superiors. Today, we're delving into the political climb of Vice President Kamala Harris, a figure who has mastered the art of strategic maneuvering in Washington's political landscape. Let's start by rewinding to 1998, when Harris was appointed as an assistant district attorney in San Francisco by Terrence Hallinan, which constituted a significant career boost for her. She was trusted with prosecuting major cases like homicides, burglaries, and sexual assaults, gaining invaluable experience and exposure in the legal community. Hallinan's press secretary at the time, Fred Gardner, recounted how Harris had been highly recommended by her then-boyfriend Willie Brown, a powerful figure in California politics. Hallinan had deep respect for Harris, even making her the face of the office for media inquiries. However, Hallinan's chief assistant, Daryl Salomon, warned that Harris had her eyes set on the top job. Salomon was blunt, suggesting that Harris was planning to run against Hallinan in his 2003 re-election campaign, and cautioning that she was not to be trusted. When confronted directly, Harris denied any intention to challenge Hallinan, calling it unprofessional, but her subsequent actions told a different story. By 2003, Harris not only ran against Hallinan, but she also did so with a sharp focus on exploiting his weaknesses. She suggested during a runoff debate that Hallinan was corrupt and might even need to be prosecuted, a bold accusation against the man who had once been her boss. Harris didn't stop there. In her campaign, she criticized the DA's office as being in disarray and accused Hallinan of running a debauched workplace. Her closing campaign ad drove the point home, highlighting that San Francisco's DA's office had been led exclusively by white men for over a century, painting herself as a change the city needed. Fast forward to 2019, during the Democratic primary, a similar pattern stands out. Harris took a hard stand against Joe Biden, particularly, according to The Spectator magazine, on his praise for segregationist senators. Harris's implication was clear. Biden was out of touch, perhaps even harboring racist views. But as the tides turned and Biden emerged as the Democratic nominee, Harris seamlessly transitioned to become his running mate, leaving behind any previous conflicts. As we look ahead, keep in mind that when Terrence Hallinan first appointed Harris as assistant DA, he could have never imagined that she would be the one to unseat him just a few years later. Similarly, Joe Biden likely didn't foresee that his running mate would be ready to step into his shoes with so much ease. So, what do you think? Will Kamala Harris be the new president of the United States? Let us know in the comment section down below.